Yay. Welcome to Saint Cast Different Day Podcast. And I am going to bypass the introductions and go straight into the podcast at the moment because I'm a little bit pissed off about betrayal uh at the moment. So recently, um I guess people were trying to keep it a secret from me. Um without me finding out. I guess the whole plan wasn't for me to find out, but all it took was Mr. Sant itinerary for me to find out. But it turns out that um, as of Saturday, um, a nearly 10-year friendship came to an end. And it turns out that my sibling, I'm not going to say which one, but my sibling and this person has been hooking up behind my back. And then you can't, and then this crazy part about it is you can't say that, oh, we're just hanging out when you're not coming home at all or you stay you come home at five o'clock in the morning get dressed and leave and go to work and at this point i'm starting to believe that stories i heard in the past about uh, this sibling messing around with other people from my past are true and now i feel like at this point that trust that we once had is broken like there's no trust in between us no more and it kind of offends me and it's kind of hurt, but it's it's it's, uh, it's like if I would have got the like, hey, I got feelings for such and such. Is is you are you okay with that? I probably would be like, yeah, fine, go ahead. But it's the fact that you tried to hide it for over a month is what really pissed me off. Both of you tried, both of them tried to hide it for over a month, and it pissed me off so much. And then when because like normally we would tell each other anything. Anything and everything we would tell each other. But all of a sudden, this time you want to keep, you were being so secretive and so hush hush and all this other type of things. And all it took was for the uh, for the sibling to say itinerary for me to figure out who it was. So this person who I would like nerd out with and do like wrestling stuff with normally and go to like I was planning on um going to see the Royal Rumble in St. Louis with this person. And I was going to uh, talk with them about setting that whole thing up, but that's not going to happen now. Uh, at this point, at this point in time, I probably never want to see the person again. So, yeah, I'm quite offended um, about the whole situation. Like I said, I'm still upset that it's that probably as of this podcast, when they finally listen to this, when it's come out, that's when they will know that I know. And so when this podcast drop, me and that sibling will be officially on non-speaking terms. Mm. So yeah. Oof. Yikes. Oof. <laughs> Way to start it out. So but welcome everyone to Same Cast Every Day. I'm your co-host, Crystal B. The gentleman right there. Right there on the on the up and up. They can't see that unless I start talking. They don't see me unless I talk. It's Martel <laughs> Rowland, people. Martel Rowland. I'm here, and yeah, you just heard my story about how people think I don't know or, or thought I wasn't smart enough to figure it out. Well, you know what? You find out stuff sometimes. It burns you. It burns bridges. But I will tell you, hands down, is that regardlessly, good, better, otherwise, some people will learn the easy way, and some people will learn the hard way. Yeah, that is true. And sometimes the cold shoulder is a good idea, and sometimes it's not. So, I will say. Um, as for our producer, I think he's like, am I apparently... I don't worry about producer? him and his shenanigans. Like, I told you. It's like a part-timer, I guess? I told you. I don't worry about it. Like, last time, he wasn't supposed to be on a podcast. His job was to stay muted and make sure that we don't go over an hour. That was his only job. And as you see, he couldn't even get that job right. So, <laughs> hey, I had to wing it for the sake of the podcast. Shit happens, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. That's the way it goes. The By way. the way, I'm live on Clapper for the first time. Well, second time I went live before we started recording earlier uh, to let people see the whole prepping process that goes on when me prepping up because there is a lot of equipment that I have to hook up to get through this podcast. <laughs> so, yeah. There's a lot that goes on with that. So, moving along, so I don't want to keep dwelling on something like that for so long anyways. By the way, by the way, uh, cheers and cheerio to all, all our friends there on Clap Right Now, so I'm on Clap for Live, so. Thank, thank you. you very much. Uh, thank you. 
And that was look all... at that. They're showing us some love already. Look at this. Yay! Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Cheers. I got my tea. Mr. Martell has his uh, glass of wine, I hope. Yes, I have my glass of wine in my official same cast, different day podcast wine glass. So, yeah, we are here. Um, so to get things started, y'all, I was so surprised when this story had broke and it was on my timeline. And I'm like, what? <sighs> Michael J- uh, Jordan's son, Jeffrey Jordan, was arrested. Uh, he was, I believe he's 31, 32 years old. He was arrested for assault. And I'm like, what are you doing getting arrested for assault when your father has all this money, first of all? It mm. just, it just kind of blew me out the way. Like, like, what? But mm. it turns out, okay, so apparently he was at a restaurant and he slipped and fell at a restaurant. I think he was kind of hurt or whatever. It was like a slip and fall incident at a restaurant. The paramedics loaded him up. They took him to the hospital to get treated. And while at the hospital, they said that he assaulted some of the hospital staff. They didn't go into details on what he actually did to assault the hospital staff. But he was uh, later arrested. An uh, hour later, he was released from the uh, jail, probably on bond. So I'm like, what are you doing? And then on top of them, they had show his picture. I'm like, if you like your dad doesn't give you money or you don't work for your dad or do something where you don't look like he looks like he's 30 but look already looks like he's 40 like he looks like he's about his dad's age and i'm like so, good god so maybe he does do a lot or maybe he does i wonder does his dad like did his dad like just completely come off and he's just out here in the world on his own and like like i don't know he just looks like he looked like i wanted to give him a dollar <laughs> no, that's a bad thing or not. He just he just looked like I wanted to get him a dollar. And then I yeah, I don't know. That was so that was the whole thing on Michael Jordan's uh son. Um so normally I huh? No, go ahead. Go ahead, finish up. I got a question for you. Go ahead. Okay. Um so no no, go ahead with your question before I talk about the next thing. So what it's on your shoulder, behind your shoulder says on air and Mike Live. So that, yes. So that, when I, yeah, well, we're on the uh, podcast and then when I'm recording now, because people like to walk into the room while I'm recording so they can be able to see the sign that saw the shows that the mic is hot. <laughs> and I'm on air right now. So yeah, they can see that. I, I don't have that right now. <laughs> maybe next year we'll see. We'll see. Maybe, might yeah. have, uh, mini me? Might have a mini me maybe? Probably. Maybe. Um, mini me and me? <laughs> so i normally don't post stuff like this on the podcast facebook page but i was so blown away by the boldness of this man so i posted a, a video on on the podcast page today well tuesday it's just tuesday and um it was a crackhead on a bus smoking crack and I was like, I could not believe that this was in Chicago. And this looked like a nice area of Chicago. And I was just so like, this man, like, literally had his crack pipe in hand and just, like, lit up. And it was, like, smoke, just blowing the smoke everywhere and having a good old time in the back of the bus, being the crackhead of the crackhead as the man as it can be. And then this one man, this one lady got the bus, like, you should be ashamed of yourself or something like that. And this man on the bus smoking crack and she was telling everybody. And I want to be like, lady, you should have plucked them hairs off your chin first before you got on, showed yourself on camera. I'm so mean. What is you doing over there, woman? Oh, sorry. Just, you know, <laughs> listen to you and wave my buddy clapper. <laughs> oh, my good Lord Jesus. Should I do, are, are we allowed to do like the dual lives? I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's see. I don't know if we can. I don't know. We had a bad echo effect with TikTok, so I don't know. I don't know. I, I got my mods ready, ready to go, so. So hopefully I can, I don't know. I don't know if uh anybody who used Clapper are we allowed to go live with, like other people when they can see both of us at the same time? Like let us know. And the only reason we had to echo last time is because I was wearing an earbud. So when I take out the earbud, it shouldn't have an echo. Or 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 if your if the or if your phone is picking up the audio from the computer, that's probably what the echo is. I don't know. Power of the Christmas tree, everybody. Power of the Christmas tree. There we go. <laughs> there it is. There it is. What what, what no. is? What what is? The power oh. of the Christmas tree. 
Oh, I'm like, what? What I miss? I felt I felt left out. So um, I had sent. So uh, we had talked about um, R. Kelly on a previous episode. And one of somebody from Chicago was like, oh, I lived in Chicago during that time period. And um, there was more. There's more to the story. And they wanted to come on the podcast and tell the story. So I sent them the podcast link. And guess what? They didn't show up. Well, what the? Where, where are they? Come on. <laughs> so I'm like, really? and, and it was crazy because I was that was told about this. Um, they asked me about this. Like a few. Oh, no, 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 no. They asked what? me about this a few days ago. Oh my god! Oh my god! Freaking allergies! My Bless freaking you. allergies! Thank you. Um, they asked me about this a few days ago, and um, yeah, I'm still. They I finally give them the chance to to do it, and yeah. Okay, yeah, you got. I'm doing like so much different stuff right now. This is ridiculous. Hold on. Um. So how was how was your how was your week your day? I forgot. Uh, my week, my day, my day was good. It was really nice to see you last night. Yay! I had adult drinks. Well, juice. Sorry, I had adult juice. Is that what it's called? Adult juice. Adult juice is what we're gonna call what's it. Called? Yeah, adult juice. Okay, so what's it called? Because huh? we're here in America. We're America. In America. America. America, you have adult juice. Yeah. You're 21 plus. <laughs> hashtag boat drinks. That's right. Hashtag boat drinks. We we're actually hanging out on uh, hanging out on an island, having some drinks. Trailer man, hanging out on the <laughs> island. You betcha. We're having pizza. And uh, some we have pizza, appetizers. burger. Yeah. Pizza, burger. I don't remember. Uh, I think it was just pizza and burgers. And oh, we had some uh, cheese curds. And, and and then there was a gentleman that actually might be interested in me, I think. Bow chicka wow wow. That's what my baby say. <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess. I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't you know. know. Yes, I don't know. They'd be like, oh no. Then I don't be like, oh no. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. If you're a family okay. guy person, that's all right. Oh, Ready? speaking of. Guys, I, I need somebody to go to the Royal Rumble with me. Oh, all right. So, so we we need to get uh, this lined up. So, Royal Rumble is in St. Louis. Is at the end of January. I believe it's always the last weekend of January. And I want to go. I've never been to a Royal Rumble. This is a is. I don't care if I'm in the nosebleeds. Like, it's an experience that I have always wanted wanted to experience, and I want to go. So you want to go? You want to go have fun? Yes. You want to get drunk and be somebody? Yeah, cause if you want to be somebody, you want to go somewhere, you better wake up and pay attention. For all you people out there who don't know what that is, that's from Sister Act, if you didn't know. <laughs> I had no idea. Really what? Know. You should know Sister Act. Oh, I know. I do. Oh, by the way, I got a new tattoo. I don't know if it's showing on the camera. I got so much equipment here, but it's, yeah. That's my new like tattoo. That, put your arm up. Turn oh. It around. Uh, I can't. Uh, there, there we go. I don't know. I don't <laughs> know. It's display. there. It's freaking there. I don't know. Okay, I can't. There we go. Woo, look at my hand. <laughs> there we go. The best I can get it, people. There we go. I have the Lord of Darkness symbol. <laughs> don't forget, it's almost... It's almost hashtag hump day. Uh, I mean, by the time they hear this, hump day will pass. Been in past. So. <laughs> we know, we know, we know. By that time, it'll be almost Friday. Yeah. Um. So speaking of this weekend, well, hopefully, because Thursdays are my day off. So hopefully, before we record another episode, um. Actually, hopefully by the time this episode come out, I'll be putting up Christmas lights because like the temperatures has been dropping faster than I expected. Um, I thought I was gonna have at least to like the end of October, and I've been procrastinating and procrastinating and procrastinating. And I went downstairs and I looked at my pile of Christmas lights. I was like, nope, I don't feel like doing this because there's so many Christmas lights. And I'm like, I don't feel like doing this. And now it's like super starting to get cold, like. It's like 60, sometimes 50 degrees in the morning and stuff now. So it's like, I need to get these up before time is up. 
Yeah, hurry and, up. And Chris, up. And Crystal B, everybody, is whoring right now. I'm not doing that. Crystal no. B was whoring. She was whoring last night at no. the uh, Iguana Bar. You're whoring. No, I was not. <laughs> no, I wasn't doing any of that stuff. You no. dirty whore. I wasn't doing anything. No, I was sitting at the. Sitting I know, because I still got to teach you how to whore right. That's all it is. No, no, no. no look you can. See, see, there's she is young, two young men in there telling me about all my good news. See? <laughs> Yes, somebody has to tell it. Somebody's got to get lucky. I haven't been getting lucky, so somebody has to get lucky. I'm just saying. Um, I won't probably get lucky till probably April of next year, probably, dude. That's, so, you know, that's too long. I'm just saying. I mean, you gotta at least go in the back seat of somebody's car, whether it's I, a I blow mean, job, a hand yeah, job. Listen. A foot job, a boob job. When they know, they know that's when they they take the penis and they stick it in between your boobs, and then you you put your boob, push your boobs together, and then you go up and down on the penis. Yeah, you, you can do that for them. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh no! no I'll just, just hang out the car wash. Okay, I'll hang out the car wash. Or a rim job. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm so really sorry, everyone. That's on Clapper. I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but tell I went to extreme degrees. Oh, what? Oh my gosh! So like, I I took a shower, you guys, before the recording of this, and my mm-hmm. hair is like still so freaking wet, and I'm hoping that it's wet by the time I go to. I mean, I said wet. Hoping it's dry by the time I go to sleep, unless this is going to be a freaking disaster. That's okay. No worries. I mean, you'll just look like this. You'll have a big poof going on. No, my new growth is bad. <laughs> it's really bad. Okay, what does the PK at the bottom mean? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's like, it's like the Whopper. The Whopper? Ooh, Whop, 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 Whop. Choose others to, to you can you can you can fight against who is going to get the most diamonds. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Well, that's some some foolishness, I guess. Uh, what's this button do? That's just sending live to somebody, but it's like this thing where you can like you could request your viewers to go live with you. I got my VIPs right here. They're watching me right now. My VIPs are right in right now. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, my VIPs. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Uh-uh. Um, I can't figure out this damn technology. <laughs> and you're almost 30 and I'm 34. <sighs> oh, I'm sending love. Sending all love out to my friends. Your friends need to buy me some wine for this no. podcast. <laughs> no, no, it's no. okay. Cause guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Pretty soon, I'm having another another shipment of wine coming, so that one might have more than the 13 bottles that I normally order. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me chicken butt. Oh. Chicken butt? No. Oh. <laughs> oh. No. Oh. I got happy because I'm having all this wine delivered, and I'm, like, so excited. So, uh, so Mr. Mr. Martel's going to be buying my... So, actually, a few people that I've sent this outfit out to, um, and I could talk a little bit about it, so for that, actually, I'm going to order on Amazon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. No. You better not be talking about that damn, not, what's that, that nun dress or whatever it's called, or I don't know. Whatever that dress is with the white collar, that better not be the dress you're talking about, because that's where if you buy that dress, I swear to God, I'm burning it. It's going to be burned. <laughs> no, 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 you're no, not no. wearing that in public. I'm burning it. <laughs> no. I don't no, care what no. else goes up in flames with it. I'm burning it. <laughs> burning it. Damn no, it, it needs to be burned. No, no, he's not doing that. Nope. 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 People already voted. People voted. They voted for that trust. So there you go. Somebody voted a lie. That's <laughs> what happened. They voted a lie. That somebody had a gun to their head or something and said vote for that dress. They didn't nobody vote for that dress at their own will. If they voted for that dress at their own will, it's something wrong with them. They've been dropped on their head or something. There's something wrong with them. Ain't nobody vote for that dress on their free will. Nope. And they, they didn't do it. Mm-mm. The devil is a lie. The devil is lying tonight. Mm-mm. No, no, they didn't. No, no. Ooh, no this, this is a good wine. I'm kind of tipsy already. 
Nope, my friends voted on it. They did. They did. Are your friends blind? No. See, I'm going to rock it. See, there it is. I'm going to rock it. There your you friends have to be blind. Whoever voted no. for that jersey, they got to be blind. No, no. no. I'm going to go with the ones who will be partying with them in a few years, too. That's right. No, they got to be blind. No, 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 no. They're by the way, free. come on. By the way, before we get too far into the podcast, don't forget to head over to cafepress.com slash SCDD podcast. Get your official podcast merch. And also, I am official brand ambassador for Raise Energy. So head over to Raise Energy and get your energy drinks. Use code Martel1 to get your discount. And don't forget, you can also track us out at direct.me slash Samcast Every Day Podcast. Check out our website. Keep up to date with all the latest trends, what's going on in the in our podcast world and i will also tell you that you can find out what's going on with martell myself and um should we tell them about the guest thursday we should coming up on well actually no it'll be next tuesday on a tuesday episode of the podcast uh crystal has a special guest for you all uh i guess we're going to be talking about toys if i'm not mistaken no, we're not. What? Well, no, we're not talking about toys. No, 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 no. no that'll be coming up. Coming up. Um, no, in the next. Is it'll be coming out next Thursday, not this one. I know on Tuesday. Yeah. So, so our next Tuesday when we do our. Um, so next week. Yeah, it's gonna come week. out on a Tuesday episode, right? Yep. Yeah, that's when they're gonna hear it. It's after no, no, the episode no, no, after no, no, this one. No, no, no. The Thursday one is gonna be my friend from Baltimore. We're gonna talk about Baltimore. And DC. We oh. won't say no more because remember, that's coming up. Oh, so we're we're not there. So we're not having no one on who has to who make the sex toys. Nope, she'll be coming up next week. Oh Jesus Christ! I can't keep up with all this. I know. I'm getting left people left and right to come in all of a sudden. You know, and we and we, we talk about everything. We will like we we actually might even I might even take some actually my clapper fans out there and uh, invite them in for a guest. Just coming just to chat. Oh, uh, speaking of on Tuesday. Um What about Tuesday? So Tuesday, uh, yeah, Tuesday I I, pro- I promised everyone on the next episode on Tuesday um that there's a lot of people who work for a certain facility waiting to hear the story of, of the sperm donor. So and the sperm donor knows that I'm gonna be doing this story and this sperm donor actually wanted me to describe how he looks for he can donate more sperm to people so <laughs> yeah <laughs> so that would be on Tuesday, also on Tuesday's uh, episode <laughs> okay so when we do that in- oh speaking of the latest oh, edition what? the Chronicles Wait, we gotta what keep happened? the Chronicles going so yeah. on the latest Chronicles this is something that I found out allegedly happened so a manager was very interested Stop it. Hey, stop working. The mass the I said the master. God damn it, uh Tommy, go away. Um The Master of Puppets? No. Fuck, who am I thinking about? Stop looking at me. Um stop it. Damn it. Move. <laughs> um <laughs> the manager the former manager of a facility allegedly was trying. <clears throat> sorry, was allegedly trying to get involved with one of his employees. And he allegedly bought this employee new furniture to sleep with her. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. And some people are saying that's allegedly one of the reasons why he, why he was fired from his position. Mm. But Ladies out there, if a my if a man brought buys you a new furniture set, is that cause for you to like have sex with him? Like, would you do it because he bought you a new furniture set? Like, give me some honest opinions out there. You know what? I'm I'm gonna be straight up with you. I don't. You know, I don't. I, especially when it's got to do with my job. It'd be professional. I like that. I don't know. <laughs> I was like, uh, I don't think I would. I mean, to be honest with you, um, I've known people that have had a lot of people who make six-digit figures. Mm-hmm. Who actually like to um, 
you know, that like to just do stuff with them and then they buy them stuff. Mm hmm. Sugar babies is what they call them. I, I don't know. I, I don't. Or sugar daddies. Yeah, and I, I don't know. I couldn't. <laughs> I don't know. I just couldn't do it. I just really. I don't know. It's just not, not my you, thing. Like, you could do it. You can do it all night long. <laughs> Oh my god, you can. But that was allegedly one of the reasons why this uh certain person was uh re- relieved from his uh position. Yeah. <laughs> Due to buying and all that stuff. Well, we don't know. Well, it's alleged that he bought this stuff, so we don't know sure. for sure if he actually bought this young lady, yeah. you know, the items that they were claiming he did. I am having some like mic issues right now. Like I can't find where my center of my mic is. And for those of you watching the video version, this is called like a pop filter. So when I pronounce certain P's and F's and all kind of stuff, you guys don't hear that that pop sound so much. So that's why, <laughs> yeah. So that's why I have this little cover thing over the microphone. So you don't, you when I pronounce certain certain stuff, you don't get the pop. Like that pop sound every time I say certain stuff. Okay, so what's going on with in your world, Martel? What's going on in Millertown? What's going on? So, like I said, I'm trying to go to the Royal Rumble. Um, I have plans on going to Monday Night Raw, December 20th. Um, I'm working on getting my passport, I believe, next week. Um, me and Tina Marie is planning on getting a, well, hopefully getting a cabin for our birthday. So, both of our birthdays in February. So, we were thinking about celebrating our birthdays together. And um, like we're not a cabin for the weekend and invite some friends. Um, what else is there? My career sucks. I feel like I'm in a dead end. Um, I feel very upset with myself. Um, it's like I don't know. I feel like I went through all these necessary channels and steps to get more training and to do more and learn more and learn more about these positions and everything, and to get nowhere. So that was that's kind of upsetting. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry it's not really working out in your favor. Yeah, I feel like, oh my God, I feel like the world is against me right now, darling. I don't think it's against you. I just think maybe the universe maybe isn't like completely like centered. Well, well, the universe needs to hurry up and center at this point. Like, you know, maybe it's like tilted, you know? Well, it needs to hurry up and center, damn it, because I'm getting very impatient. Okay. (laughs) Having our drink. Having a drink. I'm a, I'm out. So, how are you trying to call me another alky? <laughs> I mean, you had two adult drinks last night, and I wasn't even drunk, really. I know. And the the best part about it was this was the best part about it. So I had my doctor's appointment. Everything went well. Yay! Got all my results back. Got a full approval for my surgery, which is now 17 days away. By the time this comes out, it'll be. Minus two, to be at 15. But think about that. That much closer to it. And and it's kind of sad that I only have a few more episodes left. Is that I... much Is that much closer to you forcing me to get on an aeroplane is what's happening? That's, what, that's what's happening. Forcing me to get on an aeroplane. What is wrong with you? An uh, aeroplane. Oh, uh, shucks. You'll be fine. You'll be you fine. don't know that. Everybody knows I have a, a fear of heights. You'll be fine. You'll be okay. You got this. You got this, homie. You got this. So you say. Mm-hmm. So you okay? All right. I keep I keep telling you if, if if I pass out on this aeroplane, I'm blaming you. Oh, you'll be fine. <sighs> I reckon. Just- oh, by the way, does anybody have any uh good? Uh, things whether it's Lake Geneva or uh, Wisconsin Dales area, like what's a good resort to go to? Because we were thinking about doing somewhere we could be like real bougie and do like skiing and snowboarding and all that kind of stuff. So let us know if you have any ideas on some places. Isn't there like a resort that's like in with this with the ski hill? Because I know the Dells has a ski hill. I've never, I don't know about anything about the Dells when it comes to like uh, skiing and stuff like that. Like me personally, I want to try. I want to try snowboarding. 
I, I mean, as long as you don't get hurt yourself. But I mean, it's, Crystal, you know, I can see the screen in your glasses. Are you watching porn? No, no, not no. <laughs> Oh my god, y'all! I think Crystal is trying to watch porn in the middle of. <laughs> no, I want to look up Wisconsin Dells. Oh, speaking of, so um, a coworker of mine. Oh, it's called Christmas Mountain. That's what it's called. Okay, I'm gonna have to look into that. There you go, buddy. A a coworker of mine wanted to know if. Uh, she had questions. Uh, this is why I wish I could find somebody who does who have done the operation where we can ask these questions too. But she had wanted to know, like, after somebody like transforms and they do become like sexually, like, you know, engaged with somebody, uh, she's like, do they have feeling down there? Like, can they feel it? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then she also wanted to know. Is it naturally going to be lubed or do you have to lube it? <laughs> oh. so starting out, starting out, I have to, you know, I have like a dilation process that I have to do. And eventually it will self-replicate from the, the surgery I'm having. Um, actually, it'll be exactly like a genetic one. Same thing. Hmm. I think that was all the questions that she had. I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't remember. But that was just some of the questions I can remember off the top of my head that she did have about people who uh, transform. And she also wanted the same thing for uh, for the uh, people who transfer from female to male. The ones who do go the extra step to get the, you know, uh, Mr. Winky down there. Yeah, she, was, yeah. she wanted to know do they feel sensation during intercourse when they're using their winky to so that's like multiple surgeries and it's not like really not really legit like they haven't come out with the be able to make it like real mm-hmm. so there's a way to do it it is kind of a a bloody process as they would say <laughs> Yeah, because she was wondering, like, do the blood flow down there for at least to get a a stiffy so that they can have Uh, intercourse? I mean, it's not enough. It's little. It's very small. So why get it? I mean, I get it so that you can feel like a be the person that you really are. But so they mean they make a lot of things for trans men that, you know, transition. Mm hmm. So they make stuff where they can actually wear packing and um, be able to, you know, like stand up and pee and everything like that. So, and the, and and also you got to think about too, there there are things called strap-ons. So, I mean, a- yeah, true. I mean, she just wondered like 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 she because I think she had watched one of the surgeries herself, and she was just like, you know for the ones who I guess who didn't want to go the whole strap on route to have sex basically they was I guess they was just trying to figure it out oh no and that's okay I mean that's what it is I mean sometimes depending on what you want to do um, it's, um, you're not transforming because again that's that's actually a movie <laughs> you're transitioning so you're going from the wrong gender to the you're going from the negative gender to the positive gender the one you want to be in mm-hmm. the, the, you're your end goal is to be either male or female, whichever you decide you want to be. You know, that's your end goal. My end goal is to be female. And I will be there in literally less than 17 days. I will be there. Now, for, for trans men, it's a long process and there's a lot of surgeries and it does cost a lot of money. Um, yeah, and that's what I figure that it costs a lot of money. Just because I'm a trans woman doesn't mean, I mean, think about there's still boob jobs and you can get like body contouring and your face done. And uh, it's, it's crazy. I mean, you could drop as a trans woman, you could drop, listen to this. So the price of a basic home, right now we're just on basic where right? we're not talking on fancy not like that. A basic home costs you roughly, and this ain't not fancy, $100,000. For a mm-hmm. trans man, it would cost them less than that. Okay? Now, they will get their their chest, like, you know, like downsized to a normal male chest. Okay? So, mm-hmm. 
like a mastectomy, I think it's called. And they will get that re they will do that. Um, and then, um, and so then they won't have that chest hair anymore. So they won't need, you know, to wear a, you know, top garment. So then they can, you know, and, and some choose just to wear like binders, you know, for trans men. Again, that's their call, you know, mm -hmm. it just depends what they want to do. So, um, it just depends where they want to go, what they want to do. I, you know, I, um, you know, I respect them all. Uh, I'm happy that it's, it's neat to see some as trans men, you know, they actually like, you know, they'll get all the male features. They'll get the deep voice. They'll get the, the, the facial hair. You know, they'll get body hair. You know, I mean, it's it's pretty neat. And, and you know, I mean, mm -hmm. sometimes it's harder for being transgender and even dating. We've, we've talked about this on last season. It is hard because a lot of people use us as a sex object. We're just an object. Now, understand, not, not all men would say this, but some men are just used women as sex objects. I mean, I get looked at all the time at work, trust me. There's guys that eyeing me up and down all the time, you know, and dressing me with their eyes. Again, it's not cool. It's not really professional, but whatever. They want to bow, chicka, wow, wow. Yeah, well, they're, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not cool in that no. form of harassment. That's not a, a, a very cool whatsoever. But this was just, like, concerns and questions that she had so hopefully those will, this will answer a lot of her questions that mm -hmm. she had and when she listens in she can actually get education on it i'm very happy about it and i will be we don't want to get to that point and i get aftercare so it'll take me a little while for me to get back in action but when i get back even even if i'm not on video and i can only do just a phone call people don't worry we will we will do it one way or another you know we will figure out some way to make my screen hover so they can see me. Make mm, some magical mm, thing mm. happen. And <laughs> that's the power of the Christmas tree. I that's mean, right. at the rate we're going, like this this season will wrap up pretty fast considering that we do two episodes a week, 24 episodes. So I believe this is already uh episode six already yeah. <laughs> of season four. Yeah, this so. just will be, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just think, we're probably, we might record one maybe even on the road. Who knows? I don't know. That's <laughs> if I pack all this equipment and bring it. Oh, no, no. <laughs> we'll just have to record it off my phone. We'll just do it that way. It's, it's, it don't work that way. You know how much goes into this? This technology, you know how much technology I have right here on the side of me that people we, can't see off the camera? We, we, we'll be okay. We can do, we can do it low key. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll be okay. Oh, um, Crystal is trying to set you all up. Oh my gosh! She doesn't want you to have a video version, uh, or or nothing. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a video version. Do we? Will I'm hungry. Well, like seriously hungry. <laughs> and actually, actually, one of my friends is so happy now. She actually commented that she's gonna be starting her own podcast. She is actually based out of Oregon. So, Mister Roland. Thank you for answering all her questions. Great work. Yay! I did it. So great now. She's on it right now. Oh, so I just remembered. So the editing software that I use that's free that you can download is called Audacity and it is very easy, user friendly to use. There it is. Go to audacity.com. Get yourself set up. There we go. So to my peeps, I appreciate everyone that's on Clapper. Mm -hmm. right now, you're so, awesome. So you say. I am full of shenanigans tonight, everybody, as you can see. Listen, listen. I mean, I mean, they're gonna start asking us to be guests in podcasts. Just think, we're we're gonna become famous, and then people are gonna want us on there. Famous? I don't want to be famous. I just want to be comfortable. I couldn't imagine, darling, the paparazzi always following me, trying to get pictures of me doing stuff. And you know, I'll be having some hoish ways sometimes, and I don't want that to be photographed out there for the world to oh, see. It'll be fine. Uh, it'll be fine. Unless it's on the OnlyFans page or something where oh, I'm getting okay. made for it. Oh, <laughs> Other than that, I can oh, possibly please. see myself dawling out there like that by being photoed and by the paparazzi and hiding behind sunglasses and stuff. <laughs> 
Like, can you imagine not being able to walk down the street without people noticing you? Like, uh. I don't, don't really even worry about. Like, I don't care. Like, it's not a big deal. Oh, jeez. Just think, when you get to that status, okay, then you can roll. You can actually make some good money. You can roll out in your own little <laughs> style, whatever you want. But the then thing make- is, though, I like being in other people's business. I don't like people being in my business. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't care. I mean, people tell me all the time what the hell to do. I don't know. You should tell them that you're a professional whore. No, I'm a professional podcaster. Stay out of my way. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I got I want to tell you guys something so bad, but I'm trying to wait and see if this person is going to get transferred because these two people kind of work side by side with each other. And what this young lady told me about the other girl, oh, I want to tell y'all so bad, and I can't. Because I don't want them to be, I don't want to get back, because there's people in my job to listen to this. And I don't want them to go back and be like, hey, Martel said this on his podcast, so we want to know who who the girl is, who, who caught the other girl this. So, yeah. <laughs> um, Yeah, so I need to, we need to, um, yeah. I don't know. I need to figure out how to way how to tell this story without getting in trouble. I don't know. So, so, her, so we're just gonna make up a story and put somebody's other name in it. I mean, yeah, but they still don't know that it's somebody at the workplace that I work with, and they're gonna keep asking me, "Well, who is it? Who is it? Who said it? Who is it?" So. Yeah, and then the, the, and the, the girl who actually told me this about the other girl, she talks a lot. She, like, she tells her life story. She talks a lot. Like, today, I was, like, dropping off a of bin. I was like, I didn't want to really have a conversation with her, but she was like, she just stopped me. And next thing I know, she's just talking and talking and talking. And it just went on and on and on. I'm like, oh, my God, I just want to walk off. Did anybody got any coworkers like that? Oh, the the name her her name is is Chan Chancy, who like is Chastity she? kind of Chancy. Who's Chancy? I don't know that that's a girl we're gonna say that's in the story. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I can use that name, yes, but I'm, I'll be drunk and probably won't remember that. So Crystal have to write that down because <laughs> I I drink, as you can see. But yeah, I'm, I'm, when I figure out how or if the girl get transferred to another department like she wants, I will then tell that story on air, on on live on the air for all of you to hear. Yeah, we'll 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 go about that route. <laughs> Just think, we're live right now. We're live on Clapper. Yeah, we're both live on Clapper right now, but. None of my dumb people were know about Clapper, so I don't have to worry about them finding this on Clapper. <laughs> All right, so you're not gonna clap back? No, I'm not gonna clap back. No, that seems like a lot of work. Okay. All right. I mean, so, just say no. You know, I mean, I mean, ja Rule isn't that ja Rule song? Clap back, I think, isn't it? I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't, even, I don't really know a lot of ja Rule's music like that. Yeah, I can't remember the last time he was relevant. I don't know, but I will tell you, I was in uh, Millertown last night, and that was just a hot mess, man. Yeah. Twenty people. Twenty people. It's not a lot of people. That was not a lot of people. Like that's a normal day for us. A lot of people is like baseball game day or basket or a, a books game or something like that. That's a lot of people. Like that is actually a normal day for us here. You know, it's because Crystal's used to her small city where there's only like five people on a road during the uh the rush hour time and stuff like that. Like you gotta think, like there are like five what over five hundred thousand people who live in this city, and then include the ones who commute back and forth uh from uh Madison to get here to work or whatever part of this the other cities they come from. So you, you don't I'm going to say some real quick. I'm going to give a shout out to a few of my friends out there, out there in the southern and western parts of the U.S. Mm-hmm. Right there. They're on, they're on my clap right now. So shout outs, shout outs to my peeps there. 
to all, all, all my peeps out there that give me all this love. There we go. A little shout out to them. As you're saying, Martel? No, I'm just saying how you just start making it seem like like we had Chicago, New York traffic or something. Like it wasn't that bad. See, I get so all this love. See, there we go. That's right. That's right. I'm just showing the love, everyone. And just remember, just remember, you always always can always hit me up by always hashtagging any of your videos. If they're on TikTok, Clapper, or whatever else do, make sure you always hashtag if you want to tag me in it always take down miss care bear wi and always hashtag share the love don't forget to remember share the love that's what we're talking about all the time the power of christmas tree then we're sharing the love this bottle of wine by the way this is my oh it's another light on my uh yeah we can't happened. really see it's just like a black sorry black guy black but tree. it guys this is but this is a really uh good wine it has 12.5 percent alcohol in it so it's a good grade of alcohol in it, and it is wonderful. It's l- wonderful? It is wonderful. I love it. Yeah. I yeah. love it. Love it. Oh, oh Odie's, they all have 6 and 8% alcohol wine, so. <laughs> Wait, what? 6 to 8% alcohol wine. Oh, Odie's, is that okay? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. okay. That's not okay. <laughs> Just going to pour them together to make 12? <laughs> Not okay. I need at least ten to twelve percent alcohol. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh! I love my people. I do. I love my people. All right, guys. So, so what else we gonna talk about for the last like few minutes here before we gotta hang her up? Oh, I was about to wrap up the episode. I was about to tell you give your oh. socials. Okay, so let's let's do it, Martel. What's those? What's those? I was gonna tell you give your socials. Okay. <laughs> So, hey, check out Martel at these socials right here. I'm going to know your social media accounts, <laughs> not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> woman. <laughs> so, my socials are, I'm Crystal B on Facebook. Don't forget to check me out, Crystal B. Say hi. You can check me out on TikTok, Clapper, and Instagram. <laughs> and Miss, you know, it's actually the bottom of your screen because Martel puts it there. Miss Care Bear WI. That's one I remember. Okay, don't forget. I'm on the bottom of the screen. It says Miss Care Bear WI. And you can, you can always find me, like I said, again on TikTok, Clapper, and Instagram. Check me out. And everyone, Martel, what's those motherfucking socials, buddy? <laughs> I wanted to do that once, and I was like, let's do it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um Oh my gosh. So you can find me on the Facebook, the TikTok, the Instagram, the Clapper. I think that's it. And Marcel Roland. I'm, and, then I'm, don't, and then and then don't forget about our Don't forget to find you can also find me on direct.me slash Martha Rowland and don't forget that you can find Crystal at direct.me slash Crystal B and then don't forget to head over to cafepress.com slash same uh nope cafepress.com slash scdd podcast for your official podcast merch where you can wear the shirt that like I have worn now you can get that um you can also um find the uh podcast on on facebook and instagram which is on instagram is uh same cast dfnt podcast on uh instagram and then you can find a facebook also find us on facebook which is same cast different day podcast on facebook so thank you all for tuning into this episode a same cast different day podcast thanks for listening to my issue that i'm having at the beginning of this episode which i'm now officially over now sure? I'm in a better place. I'm not, I feel better I, I, now that I got it out. Here, my system. Wait, wait, wait. Before we go, cheers. Yeah, cheers, I got sir. a little bit of wine left. Cheers to you. Cheers. Cheers to everybody. So yeah, now that I, I got it out the out of, out of my system and out there to open it in the air, actually I feel better now. I really do. So yeah, so thank you all for tuning in to this episode of Same Cast Different Day Podcast, and we will see you on the next episode. Woo! 
I told you to take your medicine. I told you. <laughs> oh, come on, I told you. I told you to take your medicine. <laughs> have a have a good day, everybody. <laughs>